Hey, what's going on guys? It's Order here and today we are going to be walking through a tutorial for Simu, the Wii U emulator. Now, of course, if you watch me load it up real quick, I uh, I have a few games, but anyways, today we are going to set this up and yeah. So, number 1, you're going to want to go to you're just going to go of course down to the description below but for us today we are going to be going just looking up simu going to simu emulator um this github will be in the description below as long as you are okay with some performance problems uh, for some reason there's a mac there's a apple silicon version but it's un it's unofficial it's fan made or like it's made by it not the Simu team. So um, that'll be in the description below too. It helps with performance specifically in like Breath of the Wild and stuff like that. But for the basics, you're just gonna wanna download this. So give me one second and we'll go ahead and do that. Let me just drag my Simu into my trash can so I can walk through this with you guys. Go ahead and download it. Wait just a second. All right. Then just, you know, take the app, drag into your applications. Then when you open this up, it should give you that. And that's whenever you wanna go. Privacy and security, very bottom, open anyway, open anyway, boom. And yeah, now of course you won't have games. Um, also, in the description below will be a Google Drive link to a keys.txt file, and I'll go ahead and show you guys how to put that in. So what you're gonna wanna do is um, go into your finder. Oh, mine was over on my second monitor. Uh, then you're gonna wanna click finder, file, or go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna go go, and then hold down your option key and you'll see library you want to click into that application support simu and then right here there will be a keys.txt file this one has um i went through individually and added every north american um a lot of european releases there's no japanese releases because i couldn't find keys for them but the major well there's a few japanese keys never mind but this is every game released at least in na for the keys so you won't have to like go drudging for keys um you should just be able to drag it from your downloads folder in here and then whenever it asks you if you want to uh, duplicate keep or replace click replace and that should be good um but Whenever CMU first opens, you can just walk right through it. It'll ask you for a path. Um, I would just leave that normal. It'll ask you for a ROMs path. Personally, I keep all my Wii U stuff on a separate stick. Because, I mean, I just, you know. Uh, also, in the description below, I will leave a GitHub link. Or not a GitHub link. A link to this website. This is ROMs Mega Thread. And... To be completely honest, possibly this the most useful site ever because it has migrant links. So like for example, Nintendo Wii U. Wii U downloader works, but like I always have problems with it working, really. So I always just use uh, Migrant. You can I recommend using this because it downloads the deal all the DLC packs if you're getting a game and the updates. So for example, if you're getting Breath of the Wild it'll come with the DLC and the most recent update, which means that you're gonna have the highest amount of cat compatibility with it working. But yeah, as you can see, there's pretty much every game. Uh, super fast download speeds, you just click it and it works. Um, 
I mean, I'll show you guys real quick because I actually have been meaning to download a game in here. Where is it? it should be like right here. There it is, Sonic Lost World. So you just click it and it'll go into your downloads. And as you can see, it's not going to take 10 hours. I am currently on my phone hotspot. So ignore that. But if you have semi good internet, you'll be golden. Um, and I'll leave this in the description below. This is a Mac OS compatibility. Um, I'll be honest, half the time it just like sucks to look for a game on here. But for example, we'll open back up my CMU. Let's say I want to know the compatibility of Yoshi's Woolly World. It also has a really weird glitch whenever you type, but as you can see, they tested it on a MacBook Pro in one eight. You know, um, I'll be honest. If you're just looking to play Breath of the Wild, you're better off with Ryujinx. But um, if you're just looking to play like Wii U games, uh, a lot of them haven't been ported yet, or you're just looking to play a new a new console, completely recommend using Simu. Pretty much every game but Breath of the Wild can run amazing. As you can see, I have an hour in Dark Siders. Uh, I have like a little under an hour in Hyrule Warriors. It just doesn't show it like very often. But anyways, yeah. So that's Simu. Um, if anyone has any issues getting it installed or anyone has any issues like having glitches or the games won't open or something Join the discord. It's always in the description below and I will help you But alright guys, I will see you in the next one